How would you like to drive a mini version of the legendary Toyota Land Cruiser? A vehicle that combines retro style, rugged performance, and modern features. A vehicle that is called the 2025 Toyota Land Hopper. If you are curious about this new SUV, then you are in the right place. So, let's get started. In 2023, Toyota made a significant move by trademarking the name Land Hopper, sparking widespread speculation about the launch of a new SUV. However, the official name of this anticipated vehicle remains unconfirmed. Some enthusiasts and industry insiders suggest that it could be christened FJ Cruiser or FC Cruiser as a nod to the iconic FJ40 Land Cruiser. The FJ40, a four-wheel drive vehicle produced from 1960 to 1984, was renowned for its distinctive boxy shape, round headlights, and a spare tire mounted on the rear door. It earned a reputation for its reliability, durability, and superior off-road capabilities, leaving a lasting legacy in the automotive world. Whether the new SUV will carry forward this heritage under the name Land Hopper, FJ Cruiser, or FC Cruiser is a question that has piqued the interest of many. The upcoming 2025 Toyota Land Hopper is expected to be based on the Toyota New Global Architecture TNGAF platform. This platform is also utilized by other Toyota models, including the Lexus GX, the Toyota Tacoma, and the Toyota Tundra. The TNGF platform offers a robust and durable body-on-frame structure, making it ideal for an SUV. Furthermore, it provides a range of powertrain options, including hybrid and electric variants, catering to the increasing demand for environmentally friendly vehicles. The platform also enhances handling, stability, and safety features, promising a superior driving experience. As we await the launch of this exciting new vehicle, these speculations add to the anticipation and excitement among automobile enthusiasts and potential buyers. Exterior The 2025 Toyota Land Hopper is likely to feature a retro-styled exterior with a boxy shape, round headlights, a vertical grille, and a spare tire mounted on the rear door. These elements are reminiscent of the FJ40 Land Cruiser, which was a popular four-wheel drive vehicle that was produced from 1960 to 1984. The FJ40 had a distinctive and rugged look and was known for its durability and off-road capability. The Land Hopper may also have removable doors and roof panels, as well as skid plates, tow hooks, and roof rails for enhanced off-road capability. These features will allow the Land Hopper to tackle various terrains and weather conditions, as well as to provide more cargo space and open-air driving. The Land Hopper will also have LED lights, fog lamps, and a rear-view camera for improved visibility and safety. The Land Hopper will have dimensions similar to the international prototype of the Corolla Cross, which is a compact crossover SUV that measures 4,460 mm in length, 1,826 mm in width, and 1,626 mm in height. The Land Hopper will have a higher ground clearance and a shorter wheelbase than the Corolla Cross, making it more suitable for off-road driving. The Land Hopper will also have a larger fuel tank and a wider track than the Corolla Cross, giving it more range and stability. Interior The 2025 Toyota Land Hopper is anticipated to have a spacious and practical interior with a digital instrument cluster, a touchscreen infotainment system, and a multifunction steering wheel. The instrument cluster will display the speed, fuel level, engine temperature, and other vital information, as well as the multi-terrain select system, which will adjust the engine, transmission, and brake settings according to the road conditions. The infotainment system will have a 9-inch screen and will support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, as well as Bluetooth, USB, and Wi-Fi connectivity. The steering wheel will have buttons for audio, cruise control, and phone functions, as well as paddle shifters for manual mode. The Land Hopper may also have a range of safety and convenience features such as adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor, and wireless charging. The Land Hopper will have a five-seat configuration with cloth or leather upholstery, depending on the trim level. The seats will be comfortable and supportive with adjustable headrests and lumbar support. The rear seats will have a 60 or 40 split folding function, allowing for more cargo space. The Land Hopper will also have a dual-zone automatic climate control, a sunroof, a rear-view mirror with a compass, and a 12-speaker sound system for a pleasant driving experience. Engine and Performance 
The 2025 Toyota Land Hopper is speculated to have a variety of engine options, such as a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, a 2.5-liter hybrid four-cylinder, a 3.5-liter V6, or a 4.0-liter V8. These engines will provide different levels of power, torque, fuel efficiency, and emissions depending on the market demand and emission regulations. The 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine will have a displacement of 1,998 cc and will produce 235 horsepower and 350 nanometers of torque. This engine will be paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission and a front-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive system. This engine will have a fuel economy of 136 mpg and a towing capacity of 3,307 pounds. The 2.5-liter hybrid four-cylinder engine will have a displacement of 2,487 cc and will produce 178 horsepower and 221 nanometers of torque, coupled with an electric motor that adds 120 horsepower and 202 nanometers of torque. This engine will have a continuously variable transmission, CVT, and a front-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive system. This engine will have a fuel economy of 56 mpg and a towing capacity of 1,499 pounds. The 3.5-liter V6 engine will have a displacement of 3,456 cc and will produce 301 horsepower and 361 nanometers of torque. This engine will be paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission and a four-wheel drive system with a locking rear differential. This engine will have a fuel economy of 28 mpg and a towing capacity of 5,511 pounds. The 4.0-liter V8 engine will have a displacement of 3,956 cc and will produce 381 horsepower and 544 nanometers of torque. This engine will be paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission and a four-wheel drive system with a locking rear differential. This engine will have a fuel economy of 22 mpg and a towing capacity of 7,716 pounds. Alternatively, the Land Hopper could also use the diesel engine borrowed from the Land Cruiser 250, which is a mid-size SUV that is expected to be sold as the Land Cruiser Prado in some international markets. The diesel engine will have a displacement of 2.8 liters and will produce 201 horsepower and 500 nanometers of torque. The diesel engine will be paired with a six-speed automatic transmission and a four-wheel drive system with a locking rear differential. The diesel engine will have a fuel economy of 30 mpg and a towing capacity of 6,614 pounds. The Land Hopper could also have a plug-in hybrid or an all-electric version, depending on the market demand and emission regulations. The plug-in hybrid version could use the same 2.5-liter hybrid four-cylinder engine, but with a larger battery pack and a longer electric range. The all-electric version could use a battery pack of around 100 kWh and an electric motor of around 300 horsepower, giving it a range of around 310 miles and a fast charging capability. The Land Hopper will also have a multi-terrain select system, which will adjust the engine, transmission, and brake settings according to the road conditions. The Land Hopper will have five modes, normal, eco, sport, mud and sand, and rock and dirt. The Land Hopper will also have a hill start assist, a hill descent control, a crawl control, and a kinetic dynamic suspension system for improved off-road performance and stability. Debut and Competition The 2025 Toyota Land Hopper is expected to debut at the Japan Mobility Show in late 2024 and go on sale in early 2025. It may have different names and specifications depending on the region, such as the Land Cruiser Mini in Japan, the FJ Cruiser in North America, or the FC Cruiser in Europe. The Land Hopper will be priced around $25,000, making it an affordable and attractive option for off-road enthusiasts who want to experience the legacy of the Land Cruiser in a modern and compact package. The 2025 Toyota Land Hopper is predicted to compete with other compact off-road SUVs such as the Ford Bronco Sport, the Jeep Wrangler, the Land Rover Defender. These SUVs have similar features and specifications but differ in terms of design, performance, and price. The Ford Bronco Sport is a rugged and stylish SUV that has a starting price of $26,820 and offers a 1.5-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine or a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. 
The Jeep Wrangler is a classic and versatile SUV that has a starting price of $28,295 and offers a 3.6-liter V6 engine, a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, a 3.0-liter diesel V6 engine, or a 4XE plug-in hybrid system. The Land Rover Defender is a luxurious and capable SUV that has a starting price of $46,100 and offers a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, a 3.0-liter mild hybrid six-cylinder engine, or a plug-in hybrid system. So, what do you think of the 2025 Toyota Land Hopper? Will it be a worthy successor to the Land Cruiser? Will it be able to compete with other off-road SUVs? Could this redefine our understanding of off-road capabilities? Stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Also, please like and share this video with your friends and family, and let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below.